filed now suits against eight different e-cigarette companies in addition to Juul. What is your main right. concern with these companies? Well, I'm concerned that these companies are targeting children. They have designed their product. They use flavors that appeal to children. They market on channels, social media channels that children frequent. They use advertising to appeal to children. And the ones that I sued yesterday either have no age verification or wholly inadequate age verification on their website, which is against the law in North Carolina. And so I am making these allegations against this, these companies because I care deeply about the health of North Carolina teenagers. Now, many of these companies are saying they are giving adult cigarette smokers a safer alternative. If they take products off store shelves, as you want them to do, is that depriving adults of a potentially safer alternative? What I want them to do is to stop marketing and selling to kids. When you ask kids, and there's survey data to show this, why do you do this? Uh, two things, one is they love the flavors, and two, a lot of them think it's not dangerous to them. So if these guys will market their product without these flavors that are clearly targeted to children, I'm talking about gummy bear, Fruit Loops, Graham Crackers, Unicorn, these are, they're in their packaging, they do them in juice boxes with an actual straw to demonstrate, to, to replicate a juice box. They're on Snapchat and Instagram. There, there was one ad by Eon Smoke, one of the companies I sued yesterday. And by the way, Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healey sued them today. Um, but they had an advertisement on Instagram of their device, which looks like a USB port. And it says, no, mom, it's a USB port. Did they do that to appeal to me? Did they do it to appeal to you? They did it to appeal to children. And that is, it's immoral, it's wrong, and it's illegal in North Carolina, which is why I am going to court. So Juul has taken most of its flavored products off physical shelves. You can only get most of them online. Is that enough? No, uh, they still sell mint in the stores, and, and mint is very popular. Uh, a buddy of mine who's got a ninth grader was just telling me, school started in North Carolina this week. He said, the, the rage, what's cool, is Jewel Mango. That's the flavor. These kids can get their hands on these flavors as long as they're being manufactured and sold. Toba traditional tobacco products, cigarettes, you cannot buy a mango flavored cigarette. You can only buy tobacco or menthol. And that's exactly what these e-cigarette manufacturers need to do. Otherwise, they are going to create an entire new generation of people addicted to nicotine. And that is absolutely unacceptable. Do you think the FDA is doing enough? No. I think the FDA has the right intention. I think they care about this. The commissioner has declared this uh, an epidemic, a youth epidemic. So they have the right orientation, but they need to do more. They need to ban these flavors. They need to get pre-approval on all of these products before they can hit the shelves. Uh, they need to set a standard on how much nicotine. One of the companies I sued yesterday, they, the amount of nicotine in their pod is twice what a jewel pod is, which is more than what a person gets smoking a, t a pack of cigarettes. The amount of nicotine is outrageous and the teenage brain is highly susceptible to addiction. They, the FDA should ban these products when they are not targeted to, to adults. If an adult wants to buy it, if they want to buy a tobacco flavor, menthol flavor, I got no, no problem. That's their right and if it helps them get off cigarettes, fine. Uh, but what's happening is, children are the ones buying a large number of these products. Do you expect other attorney generals to join in on your suits? I, I will not be surprised. I've heard from a number of attorneys general who are very concerned because they're seeing it in their communities just as I'm seeing it in North Carolina schools. Meantime, you've got Philip Morris in talks to uh, reunite with Altria, which of course has a huge stake in Juul, this would be Big Tobacco having ownership over the largest vaping company in the world. What's your take on that? Well, I, I care less about what corporate form any of these uh, conglomerates take than I do about the business practices that are engaged. And what I want is for companies to stop designing their products, packaging their products, marketing their products, and selling their products to children. And just to clarify, the eight additional companies that you've sued in addition to Juul, how did you choose these companies specifically? 
Well, we, we did a lot of research. We actually had some people do some sale purchases, and we thought they were extremely bad actors. That's what we allege in our complaint. Uh, and my objective is to try to protect young people in North Carolina from these products, which are extremely harmful uh, and addictive. And these were bad actors, in my view.